Hello and welcome Pisces. This is your July 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Yamak. Hey Moll. So what we will do here Pisces, we will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2023 before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, if there's trauma that can go and then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. Pardon my appearance, I just woke up and um, yeah, look a bit of a mess, but I felt like, you know, um, recording, uh, uh, you know, early in the morning um, to me makes sense at this point in time. I'm really drawn to it, so I should do it. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. So let's have a look what we got for Pisceans. This is always the, um, the, the, the most interesting reading to me personally because I am a Piscean and since we are the 12th sign, it is always the last one that I'm recording. So, you know, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> anyway, so the overall energy is quite an interesting thing. What you have to understand is that life is not static. Life is a journey. And this month in July 2023, flow with it. Go with the flow, see where it takes you. Try not to control anything. Hello, I see you. Try not to control anything. Try not to, to be too much in charge, if that makes sense. Just flow with it. Really, really important is to understand that the journey is the destination for want of a better word. So as long as you flow well and you feel like, yeah, I'm feeling feeling really good here. Um, that is the most important thing that you can do this month. So uh, again, um, whatever is happening in your life, reflect on what is and isn't really your energy and what isn't really working and then manifest new beginnings in these areas, but don't hold on to things too tight don't try to please, if that makes sense. Just go with the flow. That is the overall energy for Pisceans. And then when it comes to your emotional core, whether or not there's love coming in, whether or not there's healing that can go. Sorry, my pump is doing all sorts of weird stuff here. Um, anyway, so what the guides are saying to, to us Pisceans is, when it comes to uh, your emotional core, how we're feeling, how you're feeling, if that makes sense, you're not doing anything wrong. Let go of feeling, you know, punished for uh, choices you made, especially in your in your in your intimate relationships in your love life. Uh, just understand that you are a good person. Hold the course. Stay focused. Something new, something better can come and will come when you just understand. I'm a good person. Everything and anything I did, I did from the heart. Um, and someone has to deserve me first. Now, should you be in a relationship? Um, that still applies, you know. Um, pay attention to the relationship you're in and see if that relationship, that intimate relationship, reflects the value of um, being accepted 100% for who you are, right? So that's the, um, that's the emotional core taken care of, that makes sense. And then lastly, we're looking at opportunities. Um, so for the most part, because this is the last sign in the wheel, and therefore this is the 12th video uh, um, that I record every month. Um, and for the most part, opportunities didn't really come in for, for most signs. Uh, for us Pisceans, we are quite fortunate because we have the Gates of Triumph. Here. The Gates of Triumph. Can't pronounce that word very well. And that basically means that 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 uh, successes are coming in. So that doesn't mean that there is a lot of opportunities. But whatever it is you're doing, you are doing it well. And it will be seen in July 2023 much more. So there's a higher energy surrounding whatever it is that, that supports you financially. And um, this is how you make your mark, by, 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 by being yourself and therefore other people paying attention that you are quite special uh, and you are quite unique and quite powerful and quite well educated, if that makes sense, in what it is you're doing. And it will speak for itself. Aquarians, 
sorry, Pisceans, that's all I got. Um, what I would say to you uh, is to make sure that you watch the 2023 full moon reading because the full moon is happening in the beginning of the month and it's going to rock us all quite a bit. And since Pisces is the sign of the dreamer, we are always super affected by the moon, right? So, Pisceans, that's all we got. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And uh, if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.